middle of August in our garden and we thought we'd show you what's flowering. So these are everlasting sweet peas. They don't have the normal smell of a sweet pea. If you see, once they've gone over like that, you must take that off. If you see any pods, take the pods off. If you leave the pods on, it will stop flowering. So if we come this way, we are going past the dahlia, which we've mentioned before, uh, and it's still flowering now, and I think it was flowering two months ago, that's in a pot. This has come into flower, and this is called Agastache. We grew this this year from seed, never grown it before, and that's in the pot. We've got a hydrangea over here, so this is a pink hydrangea that's sort of been flowering for quite a while now. And then if we come over here, this is a pot that we showed you before, and you can see is potting this up, and it's a mix up of dahlias but these are Acidanthera. So these ones are Acidanthera, never grown them before. They're a bulb that we planted in spring. It's flowering now, it's got a really nice smell. This is our Agapanthus, which is going over a bit. You, you can see how beautiful the flowers are. So um, this again grows in the pot. If you haven't had much luck with Agapanthus, it took us four years to get it to flower and they like to be really tight in a pot so it could be your pot's too big or they just haven't had time to grow yet but it took us four years to get them to, to flower this one here this pink one is an echinacea we've got two types of echinacea again we grow them uh, this one in a pot but we've got some in the ground as well this is the gladioli um, they come up every year um, and um, they're in a pot so same pot flowers every single year um, and that'll just keep flowering this is an achillea so they come in a range of different colors and um, this is one of the colors we have but we do have other colors of that this purpley one is a tall bag here again i think i've shown you this one before still flowering this is a rose that we, uh, we grow in the pot and again there's a video of us pruning that rose uh, so we don't grow our roses in the garden, we grow them in the pot uh, that's just our, our preference and um, they grow better for us like that This is a gaura um, again I think this has on been on a previous video, still flowering now This is a mountain corn flower. This started flowering in about spring um, and is still flowering now. Behind that, this one is a sedum um, and this will go red. So this is really for late, uh, late summer uh, flowering for us, but um, looks nice now, but it is going to flower much later and go red. At the very back there, those tall white things um, are called Ami Major and we grew them from seed we've never grown them before just thought we'd try it and they seem to have grown this big area back here which actually hides our greenhouse at this time of year is an everlasting sunflower or Helianthum um, so this comes up every year it's really huge we have to put it back to keep it under control if you keep cutting it back you'll get more flowers so if you've got one that's not flowering it's probably got just needs some of it taken away but um, that's a huge area there down here we have a different echinacea so you can see there's a bumblebee on that one mm. you can see this lovely color of echinacea here this one is growing in the ground and um, comes up every year as you know most of what we um, grow here comes up every single year and this is a Rebecca. So Rebecca comes up every year. Rebecca, they don't like to be overcrowded. So uh, be careful, don't let too many things get near it. Again, Rebecca here and more Rebecca here. And then the orange one is a Crocosmia. Um, Crocosmia grows a bit mad in our garden, so we have to dig a lot of it out. If, again, your Crocosmia is not flowering, um, it's one that we call treat it mean to keep it keen which means uh, pull it out a bit so don't have too much leaf growing you can just keep it keep pulling it out if it's very leafy 
and it's not flowering get rid of some of the leaf so um, this flowering over here is phlox again just comes up every year flowers in the garden as it is if we come around here we've got a this one here is a japanese anemone um, we don't have massive luck with these some people have large groups of them uh, we just tend to get one or two flowers on our japanese anemone this is um, michaelmas daisy here um, they grow a lot so you have to keep them under control if you don't want it to grow too big and they do spread so again if you only want a clump you're going to have to get rid of it um, and there's another clump that's decided to grow here this begonia here i've probably shown you this before as well this is actually in a pot but we had a gap and you can see how many flowers it's got on it so what we'll do with that is when it dies back at the end of the year that will live in a greenhouse over winter in a pot um, and it just grows like that every year this is golden rod here and um, this again comes up every year has quite nice yellow flowers on it Um, this we didn't actually plant and arrived in our garden um, so it must have blown in with some seed we weren't sure what it was so we left it and um, it's actually a tansy so it's called tansy it's got yellow flowers I don't think it's in the right position so we'll move it further back as the border next year but now that we've got it we'll keep it this red one here is a persicaria um, comes up every year Got a bit big so we might have to um take a bit of it out but that's there our buddleia is flowering here so um we allow our buddleia to come across the garden a bit because we quite like the shape of it um, it's over otherwise known as butterfly bush and we'll show you how to prune that in later on in the season and just to finish we thought that we'd show you um, the box that we potted up. So this is one of the desk drawers. There's a video of us potting this up. We potted it up earlier in the year. Um, so that's a... Um, so we thought we'd show you this box that we planted up earlier. So it's actually a desk drawer. Um, and it's got a pelagonium in it we can take them easily from cuttings um, and again we'll do a video showing you how to take one from cuttings but if you have a look at this one that was just a cutting taken off another one that we had very easy to grow and um, come up every year and easy to take cuttings from <laughs>